It's been more than a year and a half since Hurricane Katrina ravaged New Orleans, but even today, disaster planners are applying its lessons across the U.S. NBC 11's Diane Dwyer shows us how those lessons are changing the way businesses in the Bay Area prepare for disasters. Whether you've got mold or not. As the property manager for Hayward happened. Apartment Complex, Fred Ellers has seen plenty of minor emergencies. We've had where they've leaked water completely through you know, two bathrooms down into the offices. But Eller's biggest lesson about disaster preparedness didn't come from cleaning up after tenants. He learned it watching Katrina unfold on television. I think a lot of the lesson that came out of Katrina is don't wait for somebody else to take care of your problems. Which is why he and other Bay Area businesses were all ears today at a summit in San Francisco on large-scale disaster response and preparation. There's no, not going to be any savior that comes to FEMA's not going to be there. The state's not going to be there. You need to figure out how to take care of these things. Organizers of the event say there are basically two schools of thought on disaster preps before Katrina and after. Knowing that the government is not going to respond within three, now, seven days. So you have to plan to be on your own for seven days in a citywide disaster. One thing that's changed is the kind of things experts warn businesses and residents to prepare for. Preparation now includes planning for mold, air quality, and black water issues common during Katrina. Do you have proper water in your building? So this is all discovered a lot uh, during Katrina, after Katrina, and what has happened. So the rest of the country is learning in, in great detail. It has three days worth of water and food. Here in earthquake country, there are still calls for people to prepare emergency kits and evacuation plans. But traditional advice now comes with new lessons learned the hard way. Diane Dwyer, NBC 11 News. Organizers of the summit say 25% of businesses don't reopen after disasters. That statistic was around 50% after Katrina.